Let's look at what happens in these three different classrooms. In class A, every student is wearing glasses. In class B, some students wear glasses, some students don't. In class C, no students are wearing glasses at all. So let's write down for each of these four statements in which classrooms it's true and which it's false. No students wear glasses. In class A, it's clearly false. In class B, no students wear glasses is false. And in the third class, it is finally true. Some students wear glasses is true in class A. Because some students does not mean that necessarily all students can't wear big glasses. Maybe you can't see all the students and you're not sure about them all, but you know at least some of them are wearing glasses. In class B, it is true that some students wear glasses, and in class C, that statement is false. Notice what happened with these two statements. If the first sentence is false, the second sentence is true, and this happens in both cases. False, then true, false, then true, true, then false. That means that these first two sentences are negations of the other because when one sentence is true, the other one is false. So these two statements negate each other. Let's look at the bottom two sentences. All students wear glasses is true in class A, false in class B, false in class C. Some students do not wear glasses is false in this first class because everybody's wearing them. It's true here and true here. Remember that some doesn't say that that statement can't be true here because you at least have a few students who don't wear glasses. You might not know about them all, so this is true. And notice what happens in these three. These three cases are always the opposite in these two sentences, so that these two sentences are the negations of each other. So it turns out if you have a sta statement that says no, you're going to negate it with a statement that says some whatevers. If you have a statement that says all, you're going to negate it with a some not. So that chart will be available on the tests and quizzes you take. You just need to know how to use it. So if it's a some statement, you negate it with a no statement. So if it's some students wear shoes, the negation would be no students wear shoes. If it starts out saying some people do not have hair, then the negation is going to be all people have hair.